I am here with Josh Wiggins at South by Southwest. Good to see you. You too. Thanks Wait, you're a Texas. You're a Texas guy, right? Yes. Why is it this cold? Tell me. It's bipolar here. You'll get <laughs> you'll is. get used to it. It is. Yeah. Texas is very bipolar. Yeah. That's a great way to describe it because yeah. it's it's either we're here and it's 80 and we're laying out yeah. in shorts or it's so you're used to it. 20 degrees and raining. Yeah. 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 It's nothing new. It's 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 definitely nothing new. Well, <laughs> what can you tell us about this town? Like, what should we hit up? I mean, I know you're from Houston, yeah. but you've been to Austin before. Yeah, um, I've been eating at Kirby Lane. Oh, a bit. yeah. What's that? And I've never delicious. heard that one before. It's like this little little uh, famous kind of restaurant that's on the street called Kirby Lane, and so they named it Kirby Lane, I guess. And it's it's delicious. Well, it's it is it like the Sixth Street kind of thing? Is it like in that area or? No, it's by uh, like 37th. <laughs> right. In, by have you walked Sixth Street? Do you do? Have you done that? No. Is it, is <laughs> Are it you wild? allowed to? I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. <laughs> really? oh, wait a few more years. I've I've done it. I've really? done it. Is Please. it crazy? It's a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. expect. You might want to wait a couple of years to do that. But Maybe. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Because people your age have you know seen seen probably a lot more than I have in some yeah. in some instances. <laughs> so let's talk about Hellion. This was your first movie. Yes. You had never done a movie before. No. You were cast off YouTube in a weird way. Can you sort of explain yeah. that? Um, my friend was in the short film of Hellion that was at Sundance a few yeah. years ago. And by the time Kat wrote the feature, he didn't really, he wasn't interested in acting anymore. And so they were looking Your friend for... wasn't interested? No. He was, he was over it? At yeah. what age? It was like, I guess he was 13, 14 at the <laughs> he time. He was done by the yeah. time his career was <laughs> he, over. He had enough. Like, I'm going to be a director now. I'm moving <laughs> on. <laughs> but, um, and so they were looking for kids to refill the part. And we made... We would make like little YouTube videos together. And what were the YouTube videos? <laughs> They're a little embarrassing. Okay. From fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> this was back when you were in fourth grade. Yeah, okay. yeah, it was it was pretty early. But um, so I looked at those early on in your career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so um, they looked at those a casting director and they asked if I wanted to come in and audition. And so I was like, sure, like why not? I'm not gonna get it, but it'd be fun to do. And so I did it, and um, I went to about three or four of them. And the last one was in LA with Aaron. And then about 10 with seconds. Paul, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And about Just 10 seconds. small. You might have heard of him. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, and about 10 seconds after I left that building, Kat called me and told me that. 10 hard, seconds? So. Yeah. She, we met in like a little room and we were talking for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And it's, it was me and my mom and we were like, did we get it? Because they're not, we're well, usually talking. Usually they don't but, tell you for weeks. You're yeah. waiting and waiting, waiting. And waiting years to get a role like that, right? <laughs> I don't know. I got. I guess I got lucky. You are a hellion in this movie. <laughs> you're you're very uninhibited, and it's a very seemingly different from your personality. How being that it was your first movie, your first sort of major audition, your process, sort of getting into it. I mean, the script is so real and honest. It's not it's not too hard to to just kind of you know fall into these characters and believe believe in them and root for them. And so you just kind of um, tap into that and just research the emotions and how misunderstood he is and all the layers he has and just kind of try to show try to show all that there's a little motocross action yeah. in this film are yeah. you good <laughs> no not at <laughs> really? all really yeah we uh, i've ridden a dirt bike probably two times in, in my life and to, for preparation cat gave me like little lessons we had to do you know the clutch like hold the clutch and let go to go fast like right away and so i did the first time and it went good, and so the guy was like, okay, let's do a little little harder this time. And so I did, and I did it a little too hard, and I did a wheelie. Did you fall off the back? Almost. <laughs> I threw myself back onto the front of it, and so I'm... So you look like a badass. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> but um, So I'm on, like, Superman position on the, on the seat, trying to steer away from, you know, anything I can, and I'm heading towards the only tree that's in that area for miles. <laughs> and so... You know, I'm, I'm about to hit him, about to hit him, freaking out, and I just kind of teeter and, and fall over and act like I wasn't totally embarrassed. But wow, I didn't pull it off. Wow, did that actually make it into the final? <laughs> Surprisingly, no. <laughs> Somehow yeah. we just didn't make it in. <laughs> yeah. I know there's like there's a lot of heavy metal in this film. Mm -hmm. Are you a heavy metal? So you're into music, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, I wasn't really into heavy metal until we started this. Now I kind of have. An appreciation for it. Uh, I just cause, appreciate it. Right? <laughs> but because, you know, growing up in, in Cypress, Texas, you're not really like. It's not metal mania? Yeah, it's not, not exactly metal either. mania. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a little different at first. What's but it like? I like what's, it, it, what's popular there? What kind of music would you say? Country? Mm, yeah, I mean, some country. I'm in kind of suburban 
Texas, so there's some country, yeah. but like alternative rock and like. You know. What are you into? I wore a Pink Floyd T-shirt. You did. I did. I, but I, I don't know I if like you're Pink into them or not. I like Pink Floyd. Because I know I kind of read cool that shirt. you were into more like the old school. Yeah. You know. Kind of, yeah. I like you know Kings of Leon and you know the Who and Pink Floyd and Journey and stuff like that. People are talking about you a lot in Hollywood. How does that feel, first of all? Because I know there's so much buzz, and I know people compare you to Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio, which are great comparisons. Yeah, it's flattering. Is it strange coming from, you say, suburbia and coming into yeah, it's, suddenly having, you know, a buzz about you? Yeah, it's it's been weird, you know, having people talk about you. You're not really used to it, and it can be kind of, you know, I don't know, it's, it's very out of the norm. But um, I'm just trying to... Have as much fun with it as I can. Yeah. And, what do you know, your friends think about to, it at home? <laughs> they're excited for me. Yeah. Yeah. They're excited. They've been. They post pictures of. Some of them post pictures of like the articles and stuff like that. Just, they do. They're being really supportive and I appreciate are it. Are you into social media? Are you into the whole thing? Do you embrace yeah. it? I, I don't have a Twitter. I noticed that. Yeah. Why is that? Is I Twitter tried done? it. done? Tell me, because somebody from your age, tell me, because I still think it's, Twitter's cool, but maybe it's not anymore. I don't know. I think it's in. I tried <laughs> it and I had no idea what to do, and so after a week, I was like, okay. I guess I'll stick with Instagram. Sticking with it's, Instagram. Yeah. Okay. But I'd like to I'd like to pick it back up again. What about Facebook? Is it just done? Facebook's I, I have a I Facebook. know what you're about to say. <laughs> done. <laughs> no, I like Facebook, but it's I guess Insta it's kind of all teetered towards Instagram. That's the big hot thing right now. Right. But you know. You never know what's gonna come next. You never so. well you could create the next thing, you never know. Maybe. Do you have that sort of creative mind? I about some things. Yeah. Maybe. But acting. <laughs> But I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I create a new social networking site. It's not exactly <laughs> on my agenda right now. But well, yeah. So let's talk about what's on your agenda right now. I know you're heading to LA. I know you can't really say much because, yeah. but you're working. I know you're you're working with somebody really exciting, and I'm trying to pry it out of you who it is. But you're not allowed to say. <laughs> I know. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. But you are yes. working on something right yeah, now. Yeah. Well, we're about to wrap. I'm moving shooting right now. But um, yeah, I'm reading stuff and trying to get ready for any other role or something like that. Yeah. But I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it. So this it. role, he's a rebel, in a yes. sense. Maybe misunderstood. Yeah. yeah, he's definitely misunderstood. Most rebellious thing you've ever done. Most rebellious thing I've ever done. It's Wait, not a very long here? list, but yeah. Why don't you go ahead and step out for a second. <laughs> Dad's, dad, dad just moved, leaned in closer. He wants to hear this one. <laughs> that you can tell, that you can tell us yeah. the most rebellious thing you've done. Most rebellious? I've almost stolen a little Tic Tac thing from kindergarten school that every kid has you stolen. You thief, how dare you. That's just... I'm, I'm still trying to get over it, but <laughs> I'm working my way. What about Aaron Paul? Did he throw some yeah bitches? Around? I heard he threw some yeah bitches yeah. around the set. Yeah, he's Was to he... spice things up and Did he? make things fun, yeah. It was it was a lot of fun. I can imagine. Didn't he just rap Breaking Bad when he shot this film, or it was around the same time? I think I think it had been done for a little bit, but yeah. it wasn't you know totally far off. Right. But yeah, he was. He but was I read still... you're a Brian Cranston fan. Yes, I love Brian. <laughs> Did you tell Aaron that? Hey, I really like you, <laughs> yeah. but I love Aaron. Yeah. Brian. Guy you work with, he's awesome. Can you invite him over? <laughs> Can we hang out no, together? Can you make of that course, happen? Of course, Aaron is amazing. We all know. And did I read something about your karaoke song? Oh yeah. White Snake? Yeah. Here, here, I, go here I go again. Wait, why that song? How I don't do you know. even know that song at your <laughs> age? <laughs> I don't know. My brother tells me all these little little Is he songs. Older? Yeah, he's really into music, so he passes all these down. And then I heard him. Whoa. Like it's it amps you up. So and you so, like that kind of? Because to me, is that not metal? That's not metal. Wait, what not is that? Not exactly. Like, it's 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 a heavy <laughs> sort of rock, I guess. Right. 80s rock, I would say. But it's it's a lot of fun to to sing along to. Do you want to sing it? Let's let's hold off a little bit. Um, <laughs> what are you on the spot? Right now. <laughs> who would be your who would be sort of like a dream person that you could work with in Hollywood? Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Put together your dream team, your dream cast. My dream team. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio, of course. You could play um, son. Yeah. Or younger brother. Maybe. Sorry, Leo. <laughs> you still look good. <laughs> There's a new kid in town. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not trash talk Leo just no, yet. No, no. <laughs> but Listen, um, I, I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't do that. He's wonderful. He's yeah. wonderful. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Leo and who else? Yeah. Um, you know, De Niro, Denzel, Washington. You have a list the of list is on yet. and on. <laughs> yeah. Got a list of female. Throw one in there. Throw one girl. In female. There. Meryl Streep. Of course. There you it's go. nothing. There you nothing go. new. Have but. you had any? celebrity encounters? I've seen people on the street. Yeah, at, at, I saw Spielberg on the street no, at Sundance, which is pretty tell. cool. Where did you see him? It's at Sundance on the oh. um, on the main street. Um, I saw John Favreau 
Favreau, 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 Favreau here, yeah. which, which is cool. I really like it. Do you it. talk to any of these people when you see them? Like, do you say anything to them? No. You just I'm way too, yeah, kind of, yeah, <laughs> chill back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I saw Ethan Hawke and, and stuff like that. He's great. He's awesome. I love that you know these, like, because Ethan Hawke, you know, like, Reality Bites and sort of that era of film. Mm -hmm. um, big TV watcher, big film fan? I really like movies. Yeah. I would, I would say I'm a cinephile. In a way, what did you say? A cinephile. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I love TV too, like Walking Dead and Breaking Bad, of course. And I, I need to start watching True Detective. I've heard. I've that's heard. Fantastic. I've heard a lot about it. I've heard that's I, I need to start up. So if you were going to put together like a filmography, three films that oh. the audience, young Hollywood audience, has to see, your three favorite films. God, that is. A... Can I make Scorsese one? One. One section. Do whatever you like. Okay. You can make a Scorsese section. You yeah. can do like, you know, a Leo section. You can do whatever <laughs> you like. I guess anything by Scorsese for number one. Okay. So anything. he's just there. He's the yeah, man. He's, he's everything. Yeah. Oh, number two movie, comedy wise, Airplane, <laughs> and or Monty Python. Holy grail. Love it. Okay. And or Hot Rod. Those those are gonna fit. Um, three, I've seen Titanic at least six times. You That's have? one of the movies I could watch over and over, and I'm not ashamed by it. You're a dude. I love this. <laughs> I love Wait, it. Can we reenact I it? Because you could do the Leo. Jack, <laughs> Jack, go drown in that Gross. raft. I'm not going to share it. Go, Jack. <laughs> I'm yeah, really that's... cold. <laughs> <laughs> Say Rose. Give me a Rose. Rose, you're so stupid, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. King of the world. I don't have the energy for that okay, right now. Okay, I won't make you do that. I won't make you do that. <laughs> Maybe that later. Fantastic. Okay, so you covered the whole basis. You did comedy, you did the drama Scorsese, and I love that you threw a little romance in there. Great talking I'll with you. You too. Thank you Thank so you much. Can't wait to see all the Thank future you. projects that you Thank work you. on. Thank you. I have a feeling they're going to be big. You guys got to watch. <laughs>